Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Washington's looked almost unbeatable the last few weeks. They're finally playing the way they knew they could before the season started. And you know how this game is. You're only as good as your last one. They're going to have to prove it on the field again today. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. Washington has lined up for the kickoff, and we're ready to get this one underway. Stewart fields it at the three. Across the 30. He's taken down at the 34. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Tackle at about the 41. and he got there. Nice run. From their own 45-yard line. First down. Quick pass. And he's tackled around the 41-yard line. That's pretty impressive. Accuracy is important, but just as important as having receivers that can make plays. for the tight end, but they can't hook up. The pass falls incomplete. Duke was the intended receiver on the play. From the 41-yard line, it's second down. the stop around the 42-yard line. And he was pretty much stuffed on that run. You know what, that was just a nice job by the defense in stopping him before he could get going and build up momentum. Man left, man left. Go down, go down. Tins the mic, tins the mic. Ready! <laughs> Throws it deep. And he's hit before it can go anywhere. You know, they did a great job here of not just getting past the first down marker, but picking up some major yards on the play. So after the big pass play, we have a first and goal. it out to about the eight yard line the running back gets two on the carry man it's difficult to run on this defense when they put this kid up in the box we're at play number nine of this current drive Mike 10 Mike 10 Mike 10 ready 
Nice run up the middle. Benson gained seven yards on that play. That makes us third and goal. This is where the defense makes a name for themselves. It's third down and goal from the one. They line up in the jumbo set. Ready, black, 90. And they got him for a loss. The problem at times with pitch outs is they're really slow to develop. And in this case, the defense had plenty of time to swarm to the ball carrier. Kick is up, and the field goal is good. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. The Sooners arrive at today's game, ranked fourth in the nation. Back and forth, these two teams go, neither one giving an inch. We could be headed to a photo finish. Oklahoma has the edge, 7-3. Reese, 3-0 here. Stanford, kick this one off. Livingston fields it at the 7. And he's taken down at the 32. The Huskies offense basically predicated on what this kid can do. The thing I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays over the weeks. But the thing that I really recognize is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody on the back. When things are not going well, he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go. So not only does he physically have the tools, but also I really love the way he approaches the game. Dunbar picks up about four yards on the play. That makes it six and six. Brought down at the 42. Call it again at 10 yards. First down. And he's taken down around the 39 yard line. He's at the 30. It's a fumble. And the defense picks it up. That's a pretty big mistake, and this offense will lose possession of the football. Sloppy job by the ball carrier. First and foremost, you should always be concerned about the ball. Quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Stanford holds a field goal lead. They'll bring him down around the 22-yard line. A loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed him. From their own 22-yard line, second down. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 25-yard line. A pickup of about three. It's a nice play by the defense to shut down all the lanes, so this halfback wasn't able to make anything happen on that play. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. Gets to about the 44-yard line. Stanford's loving this crowd support, and they get it week in and week out. Well, that's one thing they can count on every single time they play in this stadium is creating an environment that's going to allow them to play with an edge on defense. Great start to this game. Now let's see if they can just continue that. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. On the ground, and he won't get back to the line. Oh, 
Oh, we had a pitcher's duel in that low-scoring first quarter. 3-0, Stanford. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Makes the catch, and look out, and down he goes. The 37-yard line, unable to convert on fourth down, and the ball changes hands. One quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Stanford has a three-point lead. Give to the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. Sometimes a play is not going to work for whatever reason. Doesn't mean you throw the play away. You just need to execute better next time. From their own 34-yard line, second down. He's got space to work. He's taken down the 47 yard line. From the 49-yard line, second down. Goes out to the tight end again, completes. Tackle made around the 29-yard line. the 29 yard line first down here's the halfback and he makes it out to about the 27 yard line that makes it second and eight Stanford is up a field goal Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Quick strike to the receiver. Touchdown. seven-play, 64-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. Livingston takes it from the six, and down he goes at the 30. I just love to watch this defense play. They've been flying all over the field today, making big play after big play. The crazy thing is, we still have such a close game despite how well they play. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. He's 
tackled around the 33 yard line. a quick throw and he's tackled right around the 32 yard line what we're seeing right now is just a great connection between the quarterback and his receivers they make these plays look effortless from the 32 yard line it's second down. He's at the 20. There's a fumble. And the ball bounces out of bounds. This is the eighth play of this drive. Trying to get within a field goal. They'll try the point after. And he tacks on the extra point. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. Pistol Pete has the guns a-blazing as Oklahoma State takes the field in Stillwater. The Red Raiders strike through the air, getting into the end zone for a touchdown. And for Carter, he's caught a pass for a touchdown. Elsewhere, the Sooners come into the game ranked fourth in the nation. This is a game we've been watching closely all day long. And for Oklahoma, eight wins is always a good benchmark for success. The Sooners are out front, 21-13. And we thank you, Reese Davis. Back to the action here. Washington to kick. Stewart from the six. What a collision. Right now, this game's got all the makings of maybe being a nail biter. Yeah, this game just feels like it's going to go well into the second half, probably into the fourth quarter. You almost have a feel that maybe one of the defenses may have to score a touchdown to be able to win this game. The quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. Stanford is up by three. Set, 10, 19. Trying to get it to the tight end, but it falls to the ground. Sure, it's disappointing, but this is the kind of mechanical flaw you can fix with practice and coaching. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. Nice run, and he's brought down. And they got it. 
Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. And don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. And that'll be three and out. Johnston is waiting for the snap. Tackle made at the 41. This offense just torched the defense through the air with a great passing attack on their last drive. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack the defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly... And now the ball is loose. Picks up the loose ball. And that's exactly what this defense was looking for. Yeah, that fumble gives these guys some added life. Now let's see if they can capitalize off of it. review this fumble and I've got to tell you I think he was down before the ball popped loose I don't know about this one Brad they called it a fumble on the field and they need indisputable video evidence to overturn this call after review of the play the ruling on the field is reversed well after seeing the replay it was apparent that his knee was down before he lost the ball yep those guys in the booth aren't perfect, but they got it right this time. From the 28-yard line, first down. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. That's a great tackle at the 17. We played a half. The Cardinal lead 10-7. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Things are straight defensive out there right now. David, what do these two offenses have to do to open this game up? Well, it's it's fun to watch because obviously I'm a defensive guy and I enjoy this, but when, you're, when your defense is executed at that kind of level, the offense has to be precise. I mean, you got to throw it in tight windows. You got to be willing to take some chances that you normally wouldn't have. How about some trick plays, maybe? I mean, when you're losing the battle in the trenches, you got to find some way to kind of even it out. Maybe get a little bit more options, some reverses, some double passes, something to loosen up this defense. Because right now, defenses are just winning out. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio. The best seat in the house belongs to Brad Nessler in Kirk Herb Street. Great first half of a tight ball game, and we're set to start quarter number three. Caught at the eight. Tackle at the 33-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure, but they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Gets to about the 34-yard line. He's pushed out of bounds at the 46. Call it a gain of 12 yards. That makes it first and 10. tries to buy some time and he's sacked it's second down 12 to go ball on the 44 so an empty backfield with five wide receivers Looking for his man, incomplete. 
Sometimes when you throw it that hard, you can't control the accuracy all that well. He'll get it under control, though, in time. He's under some heat. He wants it all. Brought down at the 18. The receiver did a nice job to separate himself from the defense on that one. And when the defense is going to play man coverage out there, all the receiver has to do is get a step, and a quarterback's going to find it. And he carries the ball for a nice game. And four. That makes it seven and six. pickup so they go on the ground and pick up another first down they are stringing together a nice little drive here if they keep this up it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone and they make the stop around the six yard line Converts the extra point. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese. The Sooners entered today's game ranked fourth in the country and hoping an impressive victory would move them up in the poll. This is a game we've been watching closely today. And for Oklahoma, they're looking to win their third straight. Oklahoma has the edge 24 13. That's good stuff, Reese. Thank you. They line up to kick this one away. From the seven, he's out to the 30. Across midfield, inside the 30, the 10. He returns it all the way to score. So in just a matter seconds momentum has swung and now they find themselves ahead that was a perfect return the blocking was there the return man found some daylight you talk about impressive trying to go up by three they'll kick the extra point and he adds the extra point He'll return it from the four-yard line. And he's tackled at the 26-yard line. Kirk, you and I like seeing points. We're seeing points in this third quarter. This has been fun. And I think it's going to continue, Brad. I think the adjustments that were made at halftime have allowed these quarterbacks to go out and, and really be able to take command of how they want to attack each defense. It's going to come down to that final drive. Not much of a problem getting the ball in the end zone on their last drive as this quarterback just picked apart the defense. I, I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And the one thing is that any defensive coordinator will tell you in the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heels. it out to about the 34-yard line. They'll bring him down to the 39-yard line. Rose makes the tackle at the 39-yard line. First down. Quick throw, and he's taken down at the 47. Madison makes the tackle at the 47-yard line. 
that makes it second and two. Carson's out with a tailback on the screen. Knocked out of bounds around the 47-yard line. That makes it first and ten. A little man down, and the trainers on their way out to have a look. So it's second and 13. Ball on the 50. And they get nice yardage on that run. Quick strike to the receiver. Tackle made at the 33. That's good for a gain of 11 yards. First down. And let's pin the mirrors back and go full sprint. Hey, check, 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 He's at the 20, inside the 10, and a huge touchdown play. And that's his second touchdown of the day. When they need a play, you usually know who's going to get the ball. Excellent run to put these guys up on top. Splits the uprights with the extra point. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? The Sooners come into today's game ranked fourth, hoping a win can move them up in the rankings. Let's take yet another peek at this game. And for Oklahoma, today is an opportunity for win number eight. The Sooners are out front, 31-16. All right, thanks, Reese. The Huskies running back sidelined earlier with that injury. Right now, though, it looks like he's uh, warming up, trying to get back in the ball game. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Stewart from the four. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He's to the 40. He's tackled at the 47 yard line. First and ten. Ball in the 47. three-yard line. final quarter and we've got a great game on our hands. Washington's up by four.
Great three quarters of action. Tight ball game. And now it's the fourth quarter, and this will decide it. Set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. He's taken down at the 27. From the 27 yard line, it's first down. He takes it right side for a good game. And this play is number eight on the drive. Fires incomplete. He was looking for the tight end. And so it's another third down upcoming here. tackled immediately after the catch. Drop back four yards on that one. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Washington is up four. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And he's tackled at the 29-yard line. That's a deep on the play. That brings him second and down. Flips it middle to the running back, and he hits him hard at the 31. Madison with the tackle at the 31 yard line. First down. Two down, two down. Check, check back, the back, check back, the back. Yeah. Go, 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 go. And he's hit immediately. That's good for a That brings up second and nine. Feeds it to the back. He's at midfield. He's at the 40. Inside the 30. To the 10. Touchdown, Washington. He makes the PAT. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he's taken down to the 27-yard line. Well, this is a very competitive game. Just when you think one team has gained the advantage or the momentum, the other team comes fighting back, and it's going back and forth. This is almost like a basketball game. We're about set to start things up again. Just over two minutes in the game. Makes the catch, and he's got nowhere to go. That makes it second and six. Second and six. Ball on the 30-yard line. Here we go. One and eight. One. Going deep. And he 
gets hit before it can go anywhere. And for Dukes, he makes it 100 receiving yards. Yo, this guy continues to make plays, and what this can do is force the defense to have to double-team. And if a defense starts to double-team a wide receiver, it opens up avenues for other wide receivers and also the running game to try to exploit the defense. Looks middle, now he's back. And he is drilled at the eighth. That makes it first and goal. Here they go, first and goal, down by a couple of possessions. Touchdown through the air, and now it's a one-score game. So the offense will stay on the field and attempt the two-point conversion. He's got it for two. Yeah, the kicker put the ball in perfect position. Brad, they made the decision to go for the onside kick, and this could very well have been the play that decides the outcome of this football game. Well, they got the result you always want on the last drive. Let's see if it happens again. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, then you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. He's hit and taken down. Close to a nine-yard pickup there on the slant. That brings in second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. A little over a minute in the game. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. And they push him out at the 28. Caught with room to work. Out of bounds around the 25-yard line. Second and it's second and seven. Ball on the 25. From the 17 yard line. First down. Gets out to around the nine. Stanford's going to use their first time out of the half here. Good effort there by the receiver, but just not enough room for him to get a foot down in bounds. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. We have less than a minute to go. Well, you can see the elation on the defensive coordinator's side of things, and why not? His defense just came up with one of the biggest stops of the game in a vital spot in this fourth quarter. The kick is up, and the field goal is good. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Schmidt takes it at the four. At the 30, he's taken down at the 34. 
Washington's game plan couldn't have imagined things to go this well. They've scored 24 points in a row. Late in the fourth quarter now, game is tied. Which coach can outcoach the other? It's a chess match right now. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. That's good for a game of 15 yards. First down. it fly incomplete a little too much juice on that one and this quarterback sometimes gets a little bit too excited back there and tries to put too much on it he's got to relax and just make a good throw from their own 49 yard line second down pulls it in first down and he's knocked out of bounds that's good for a gain of 17 yards first down stop around the 31 yard line the Huskies will use their first time out of the half from the 31 yard line it's second down here's the half back on the screen he gets hit out of bounds at the 30 his eye on it makes the catch they'll bring him down at the 17 boy this guy really showed some giddy up getting down the field for a big game Washington's gonna have to use their second time out of the half there's the timeout we were all expecting folks we're either gonna see victory with this field goal or overtime here we go kicks up That gives them the lead. I know that I call kickers head cases, but this kid isn't one. It's like he doesn't even feel the pressure. And this one's all but wrapped up with the final score, 31-28, Husky. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.